today my wife and I, Bree, say hi Bree. Hi. We are going to start our own Tesla channel. There's a bunch out there and they do lots of cool stuff, but we thought we would share our experience sort of starting from day one. Um, my, I myself personally, since like 2008, I've been obsessed with Teslas. Um, and I mean, just everything about it, I've always wanted one. Just, I mean, amazing. The Roadster was just a brilliant car. I mean, for me, it was a little bit later. Uh, Gran Turismo 5 came out back in 2010. Uh, there was a Roadster in there and that was kind of the most amazing thing I had ever seen to see this supercar essentially competing with all of these other regular internal combustion engines and for me I was obsessed at that very moment and that was pretty much the closest I thought I would ever get to driving a Tesla. <laughs> so before this we had a, a well, we bought together when uh, a few years after we got married, we bought a Honda Insight, brand new. And I think that was the first new car you'd ever had. Yeah, before that I had a 1996 or 98 Nissan Sentra. So that was even a big, big step up for me. And then a few years ago we bought a Honda Element because we have three ridiculous dogs and tr trying to fit them inside of a small hatchback was getting a little dangerous. Two years ago, uh, you know, when when we heard that Tesla was going to come out with the Model 3, we thought it was a perfect time for us to get our replace our Insight with a, a fully electric car, and that would get us from where we are to where our work is, which is about 40 miles away. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we we just hoped that you know, it would sort of be the solution to all of our problems and would get us to where we want to want to be with an all-electric future. Plus, it looks super cool. So, you want to tell them about how we sort of did the Model 3 stuff? Yeah, I mean, I remember, I don't know, back, it was, so March 31st of 2016, um, that was the big day, um, the reveal day, and I remember like a day or two before Glenn asked me if I wanted to take the day off of work to go and reserve one, and I thought he was insane. But, you know, I had time off, so why not? So, I guess that that morning we, what, we woke up at like 5 a.m. And, and it's a little earlier than that, because traffic from where we yeah, live going up. Yeah, from here to Bellevue is, yeah. is not pretty. So we woke up really early and drove ourselves uh, up to Bellevue Square Mall and joined the hordes of people. And there were... Uh, at least 120-ish people in line before us, and they had indicated that they had been there for quite some time at that point. We uh, we stood in line for a couple hours before they... Well, I think we got there, what, at like 6.30? Yeah, it was pretty early. Um, so, what, maybe four hours? We, we had some lawn chairs and sat yeah. there for a few hours, yeah. and then... Uh, you know, the line finally started moving, and we were maybe moving for about 30, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. and then... Yeah, it was, pr it was pretty quick. Yeah. And, it didn't take long. You know, we showed up, and, and gave... And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just handed over our debit card, they took some of our information, paid a thousand bucks, they took our picture with this janky little sign that I thought was really cute, and there we were. That was it, we spent a thousand dollars on a Tesla that we wouldn't see <laughs> for two years. What's it been? Two months? Three months since the the final release sort of information and the big reveal at the Fremont plant? And yeah, it was in July, yeah. the end of it, and not too long after that we got our delivery estimator that said we would be expecting our car because we were going for the long range and the uh, premium upgrade package, which yeah. is going to be the first run. Uh, we we're supposed to get that from November 2017 to January 2018 because we are not current owners or employees of Tesla, SpaceX, or Solar City. So we, you know, we we saw that we you know we saw the black interior and I think we were really happy with the options. We we love the midnight gray color mm -hmm. and you know, we were, I, I think we were you know everything about the car we thought was great. And yeah, absolutely. We basically thought. Well, let's go check out the interior options. Go up to the Tesla store again. We knew that everybody on you know Tesla Reddit and the Tesla Motors Club forums, everybody says 
unless you want to buy a Tesla right then and there, do not go test drive a Model S or a Model X. And we thought, well, we'll be fine. Yeah, we've been planning for this for a year and a half. We've got no issue here. We know exactly what we're doing. So we, we went up there sort of with the just the, the assumption that we just look at the interiors. And, you know, while we're up there, we might as well test drive it, right? I think you even said, you know, when else am I ever going to get the opportunity to, to yeah. drive a $100,000 car, right? Exactly. So we went up there, and uh, we met up with uh, Jenny up at Bellevue Tesla, and she was amazing. And yeah. we did our test drive, and I think, you know, we were trying to talk my mom into replacing her CRV with it. So we were sort of doing a lot of hyping and talking, yeah. and I think we accidentally talked ourselves into it. That's for sure. So we got home, chatted about it, couldn't convince my mom to buy one. So I think at that point, we resigned ourselves to the fact that we might have to be the ones to buy it. Or... Yeah. And so that's what we're doing now. We're going to cancel our Model 3. Which makes me a little sad. It just, I don't know, I felt like I was ending something kind of important and so that kind of it kind of hurts a little bit well i think you'll feel better once we have our model x probably yeah. yep so that's the sort of the point of the blog i mean we're going to show you guys what it's like to live with three dogs and a tesla which i mean i guess first world problems but uh, <laughs> it's uh I think a lot of people think we're crazy, my, my family. I know, I think I'm crazy. Yeah, but we're going to do it. We love our dogs. We can't imagine going around places without them. So you guys will get to come along with us when we're doing that, and you'll get to see them in there, and we will give some reviews along the way, give some insights into things that worked and didn't work, and hopefully we'll get some cool video of the puppies riding in the car, and maybe if somebody out there wants to help us out with a referral uh, when they're buying their Tesla, then we can maybe get one of those little radio flyer Teslas and we can put the dogs in it and drive them around in their own Tesla. So How help, cute would that be? Yeah, help us out with that, please. Like and subscribe. If you want to hear more, we'll have videos. Well, whenever anything happens, we'll try and post a video just to keep you guys apprised of what's going on mm -hmm. and then we'll have a lot more footage of our tesla once we get it and anything else sort of ev related chargers yeah. tesla stuff anything else we happen to come across and uh, we want you to join us uh, along the ride and if there's anything you guys want to see if you have any questions any suggestions for cool products that would work well with the dogs in the car absolutely yeah um you know put it in the comments we will try and respond to it either in video form or in text form, and uh, we want this to be as interactive as possible. So thanks for watching. Hopefully we didn't take up too much of your time, and this was interesting enough. And there's the dogs now, so I'll put some video in here of the crazy dogs. <laughs> and uh, you I guys can enjoy them. them. I'll let them in after. So, all right. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Bye. Bye. Call. Puppies. Hey, puppies. Hello. What is